hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to download bootstrap CSS JS files later we will add in our closet those files if you want to download bootstrap CSS JS files you need to go to getbootstrap.com bootstrap is officially developed by Twitter it's a most popular HTML CSS and JS framework for developing responsive SEO friendly websites and blogs with suitable to all mobile to desktop computers without any much effort we can create a responsive websites here's a button for download the bootstrap files and the current version is 3.3.7 I'm clicking the download bootstrap button here in the download page you can notice there are three buttons to download one is for the bootstrap it's a compiled and minified CSS JavaScript and fonts and second one is a source code and third one is for SAS I'm clicking the download bootstrap files it's a minified version here the files are downloading I'm creating a folder I'm renaming is bootstrap I just drag and drop these files into this folder newly created close Here the files we just saved in a new folder. When I expand these files, you can see the CSS fonts and JS files. Now the next step is we will add these folders into our project. Go to ASP.NET Visual Studio. I'm creating the folder bootstrap. Here in the bootstrap, I'm adding those three files, add existing item and those files are saved on the desktop, desktop, bootstrap here. Now I'm going to add these three files into bootstrap folder, control A, copy, paste. Here the files are added now let's check what this folders contains the CSS you can see the bootstrap theme bootstrap theme minimizer version of CSS fonts and JavaScript now we will add this bootstrap files into my HTML page before adding the bootstrap CSS fonts and JS files to my project, we need a proper basic bootstrap HTML template. To get the bootstrap template, here is a basic template here. Click on it. Copy the whole thing. Go to Visual Studio. And now we don't need any more this type this code delete there's a new HTML template code and now we, I'm deleting this h1 tag here if you notice the bootstrap link of CSS it does not work the reason is we added the CSS fonts JS files under the bootstrap folder I'm adding this CSS file here. I'm deleting this folder and I'm adding the JavaScript also. 
5.6 go to browser now I'm refreshing this page see here the bootstrap is working perfectly that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos